Hello everyone and welcome back to Venture Africa. So I want to explain what happened here because uh, you guys might be a little confused otherwise. So I tried to record this uh, next level in the last episode and it ended up going super long and I really didn't accomplish anything. So I decided I was just going to cut that part out because again I want to make sure we're continuing to make progress. If you guys really want to see all my failures then maybe I can do something with that and compile them or somehow montage them or do something with them at some point, but uh, just to get through the different levels here, I wanted to make sure we're actually going to continue to make progress. So I'm going to be retaking this one here on camera. Hopefully this time goes a lot better than last time, and uh, I'll explain more as we get into the level. So let's go ahead and get started. And of course we always have the poem in the beginning. I like the progression of the story through this game, because you can see there is a little story happening in the background, and it's very, very fun. So that squall was furious, and because of that wretched vulture, I may have well jump I may as well have jumped in the river. Are you cold? Perhaps I can offer you my coat. My thanks, Dr. Willoughby. You are certainly the kindest outdoorsman I have ever met. <laughs> so I like how there's a little bit of character development happening in the background. I, I think that's really, really fun. But anyway, what's tough about this is we have a goal of 30 zebras and 22 vultures. Now, those are both ones that can be very difficult to achieve. And we have to be really careful about how we play our cards here because we want to make sure we're going to get set up in such a way that our populations are actually going to be possible. So... First things first, I'm going to try and place a couple of zebras. In fact, I'll probably place three zebras right here. Hopefully none of them die. I just kind of want them to get established so that uh, they'll be able to hopefully then end up uh, kind of starting to have a stable population by the time we introduce any predators or whatnot. Now, we do need to put an elephant in as well, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. That'll get us our first gem. And I'm going to try and place up here... Uh, a bush for them to eat from as well. I want to get a couple of those, but we need a lion first. So I'm going to put in yet another zebra. These guys should be starting to do a little bit better. I think they're, they're going to stabilize out eventually. They need to be able to have more food because right now they're not actually getting enough food fast enough to fulfill their requirement. It's dropping pretty quickly. The grass is actually fairly terrible for food. If you see there, it's barely going up and they have to keep going down to get water when their water need gets too low. So yeah, we definitely need to work on that, but I think I'm gonna actually place in a lion and then we'll place in a zebra as well. And I'm going to put in some more bushes so that the zebras have something to eat. We can put in a couple of spring hares. They'll be the ones that I think should be able to eat the grass. And because we now have bushes, that should help significantly. I'm going to keep placing zebras. It looks like this lion has made a kill already, but hopefully this will mean that they'll be a lot better off when it comes to staying alive and that they won't be dying constantly. I think they have a hard time getting up and down this hill, unfortunately, and that does make our job all the more difficult. So let's put in another lion. I'm going to place another bush here because I don't want the elephant to cause problems, especially now that the game wants us to add a second elephant. So I'm going to go ahead and place that one in there and we'll put another tree right here so that the elephants have something else to eat. Our spring hair population should continue to increase naturally, especially if we place some of, some of the other grass areas as well. So let's put some right here. And uh, the thing I want to do is actually start filling up this water hole as well because you can see this one has a tree, it has a lot of nice bushes. It's going to be helpful. Now we need to get a crocodile here as well. And the one thing that we don't have, usually there's one animal that's missing, is flamingos. Okay, we have a carcass, so we can go ahead and place in some vultures, get started on that goal. Unfortunately, this is a zebra that seems to have died of thirst or starvation. I'm not sure which, but uh, I think that'll start to get better with time here. But it doesn't have the purple flowers around it, so I don't believe it's a kill. It still will sustain the vultures, though. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do, how many lions do we have? We have three lions. Okay, so that's enough for us to be able to place our first crocodile. Whoa, okay, that was that was productive. <laughs> but uh, the crocodiles will prey on lions as well, so you want to make sure you have at least two there. Now, the other, or at least three, excuse me, in case one of them ends up dying. So... 
We're gonna put three zebras here. I'm also gonna start filling up one of these watering holes because these areas are actually gonna be really important. We'll wanna establish other regions along the riverbanks that our animals can uh, thrive as well. But for now, that's not gonna, that, that's gonna end up being easier said than done. So we've got some more there and we can also start filling up this watering hole too. There's a few bushes around here and our zebra population should be growing, hopefully. Yeah, we have three currently and it should continue on there. This one has two bushes, so I'm gonna put two zebras, and or three bushes actually, I just saw there's another one, and we can place a few over here as well, and that will give those populations some time to get established, which should help significantly. Uh, we're at 12 of 30, but we haven't introduced enough predators yet. So this watering hole has a lot of trees, which means that it's going to be the perfect place to introduce an elephant again as well, because this way we should have a pretty natural area where they'll be able to eat, and hopefully we won't have to worry too much about that. So we just need one for now. How many do we have? Uh-oh, we dropped down to one. That's not so good. But uh, I'm going to place another bush here so that these guys have plenty to be able to eat. And we will put another elephant in as well. Now, between two elephants, three trees should be fine, but we'll probably want to place more for when the population grows. So let's put another elephant. We got a couple gems there, so I will place another tree and we'll start filling this watering hole up even more so they don't have to go quite as far to get food. Now, how is this doing? We've got a lot of lions, so I'm actually going to place another uh, crocodile here because that will help. Eventually, this crocodile will be able to... Uh, to catch different animals. Now, is it gonna, I think that's a croc, so it may not actually be able, oh, it did get a zebra, good. I, I thought, I think that carcass is actually a crocodile carcass, so we don't want to, I don't think it's gonna be able to do that. Uh-oh, we are starting to have some trouble here, though, because we have, um, we have a population of elephants that's growing too large. So I'm going to put some more spring hairs here to help us get our numbers up and get an additional gem. We'll place another tree up here and that should start to help with our elephant problem. We have, looks like four or five lions. So this is actually a maximum population of lions. And uh, if this watering hole has a more stable population of zebra, which it does look like it does, we'll place a lion here as well. Now there's no grass around this watering hole, so I think I'm going to change that and we can put some a little ways away maybe? Maybe? Are the, the zebras are all running away from the lion. Sometimes, oh no, there is a population of spring hares. Alright, so where did the lion go? It's down here getting a drink. Okay, it has enough food and water. It looks like it did manage to take down a zebra, but there is a good population of spring hares as well. So I'm going to make sure we put another tree over here because our, um, our, our elephants are going to have a harder time if we don't. Now, this watering hole, for the most part, is doing pretty well. I'm going to place another lion and I'm going to place a crocodile here. And that will enable us to put in, or well, let's start filling it a little bit farther here. Now, I want to be cautious with our zebra population. It looks like one of them did die just there. It got killed. And I'm going to add two vultures here because we can sustain that. So we currently have 18 zebra, which is good. And uh, we want to make sure, and I'm going to put another crocodile here in momentarily. I just want to see how many lions we have. I think we only have one right now. Oh, no, we, we have two. We have two, so that's all right. We have three, actually, so that's perfect for us to put another um, another one of those in there. If we fill this, it does continue to get fuller. Okay, it looks pretty full already, so I wasn't necessarily sure, but apparently it is. Okay, what are you doing all the way up here? I, I don't know. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. So let's come back over to this other watering hole, take a look at it. I think we can actually fill this one up too, but it looks like before we do that, we really need to focus on adding more bushes because the zebra are starting to kind of kind of get more of those. Where else do we have grass? We've got a patch right there. What do we have out here? Is this trees? This is trees, so we can't really do too much with that. Uh-oh. This is kind of a problem. Let's place two more zebra because I don't want this population getting too low. In fact, we'll even place another. Uh, I think the, the lions are, actually the lions are kind of stationing themselves between these watering holes, which is really, really good for us. But we need to place some more of these because we have dropped our numbers significantly. 
Uh, these guys are starting to... Uh-oh. Are they going to get hunted? They're starting to underpopulate a little bit, so we've got to place more of them by hand. I think they're, they kind of go through boom and bust cycles where there will be a bunch of them and then they overeat all the food and they all die off, but then uh, there's so few of them that the food all comes back and so they overpopulate again and then there's too many and they, uh, then they end up uh, starving and whatnot. And so it kind of, they, they really have a, a strong boom and bust cycle. Um, I'm gonna, speaking of these guys, I want to place more grass so that we can sustain larger populations of them, and this will help our animals in the long run, too. If we come over here, and we come out here, that'll help us in the long term, but I also want to get a population of crocodiles started here. Nope, not these guys. I want, uh, some crocodiles in here, because we really don't have too many predators. We can go ahead and fill this up all the way, and that should help us a little bit. Oh, we've got them going to hunt for food soon. So we have six of eight lions as well. I think that's because both populations are down one member. Um, uh-oh. No, we've still got some zebras. We've got a few zebras. They are starting to have some trouble, though, so we need to perhaps place some more here. The elephants can get a little pushy, so we probably need to provide some other food for the zebras close by. Now... I'm going to place more lions, I think. We've got two, or we've got three here. And so we can place, oh no, they just had a fourth, so we can actually place a fourth one over here. And that will get us our proper population level. Where do we see there's more water over here? I think, I'm going to put some more, hmm, I kind of want the zebras hopefully to move away from the elephants because there's a lot of them. I'm going to place that one there. It might go... Oh, wow. It, that, was a, that was a lot. It might go after... Oh, it did go after the baby. So let's put some zebras over here. And uh, I'll make sure we plant plenty of bushes so they have enough to eat. We've got quite a large uh, zebra population, but we don't have enough vultures yet. We've got a few over here, which is good. But uh, we need to be a little bit careful. So I think I'm going to introduce one lion right here. That actually helped a lot. Uh, we got a lot of gems for that. It kind of cascaded. But let's also make sure that we're planting more bushes kind of close to the water line so that uh, our zebra are free to roam as they please. Now, 19 to 21, we can easily help that out by uh, placing more... Where is the population? It's down here. There we go. We got another one. And I want to place a few more bushes around here. I think our zebra population is doing all right. It's just not as good as it could be. We'll also put another uh, grass patch here so that we can add some more spring hairs and continue the process. I want to kind of jumpstart the population over here because eventually we want this one to be able to sustain lions as well so that we make sure our vultures have enough to eat. We can put that there. There we go. Uh, does this need more water? It actually does, so we'll let it fill up even a little bit further than it already has. I think that's our last watering hole, so that we should probably start setting up another area somewhere. And I think I'm going to do that by placing some bushes over here. We'll put in a few zebras, and they can kind of get started over here. And that, if we have their population... Uh, not have any natural predators, that's going to help us uh, get it established, but then we'll introduce one later. We can also set up another population over here. In fact, there's enough bushes that I think we could do that now. So let's have you get some water, and I'll put another zebra right here. That one's going to go get some food from the bushes, which is good. We can even do the same thing again, I think. So they, they should be able to sustain this. We might want to place one bush that's a little bit closer so that they're not... Uh, in trouble. We can put another bush right down here by the water. Man, that chase is going quite far. I hope they don't decide to go, to join up with that group. Oh, they, they're going to go after this guy. Um, Yeah, I'm going to just turn him around so that they have something to eat. <laughs> Let's go ahead and we'll put some more zebra over here. I don't know if the herds have merged. I was hoping they wouldn't, but uh, we'll see. Is that the whole herd from over here? No, there's more. I think we'll be okay then. So the vultures are kind of just circling around too, but we do have some lions over here. So I don't know what what the game causes to what what causes the game to consider something a herd or not, but uh, whatever it is, oh, we really need more food over there. So we get, we got to get our spring hare population up. I think 
there's no more here, are there? The lions hunted them to extinction, I think, in this this region. <laughs> we've got to get the we've got to get the population up again. But um, and did the zebra all move on? Oh, I think they did. No, I didn't want them to. Oh, they joined up over here, didn't they? Oh no, they're coming back. Okay, we're all right. But I think the lions did hunt the spring hares to extinction there. We got to place in another... Oh, because we just had one die. We've got to place in enough bushes to be able to sustain this. And we've got to get our lion population uh, thriving a little bit more. We've got four here. We've got four that kind of go between these watering holes. And I think I'm going to put some over, or over here as well. I'll put two or three in... There's a, yeah, there's several zebras, so I think we'll be able to sustain that population. And the elephants may keep them in check over here a little bit. Now, what we really need, our zebra population is actually almost stable. What we really need is the vulture population to go up. <laughs> so let's get uh, some more food over here, because this is where we'll be able to introduce more lions. We've actually got several vultures, or several, several carcasses for our vultures over here. We'll place one in to kind of jumpstart that, because it looks like we have a lone vulture. That could kind of form its own group over here eventually, if we add others. And we'll go ahead, we'll place another one in. Now, we only have four crocodiles. That's definitely not what I was hoping for. Uh, we have one, two zebras here. Yeah, that's not ideal. Oh, now we have, oh no, we've got more. They just were all hiding. So I'm going to place a crocodile there. Why are all of the crocodiles dying? Oh my goodness. All right, that one got the baby. <laughs> That's uh, part of the circle of life. So we'll place in a couple of them here. Why are all the lions dying too? I don't know what, what's happening to all of our predators. I guess we've got to place more in here. They didn't seem to be able to handle this uh, zebra population super well for whatever reason. So we'll try and place some more in. I think we maybe just didn't have quite enough of them. And are they going to get to hunt? Possibly. It looks like they might. So I hope that helps. We've got a lot of zebras roaming around everywhere. Now, what I really think is going to help is when we actually have more large prey animals because then we can have, like, two different prey animals in an area. Right now, the zebras are kind of limited by their herd size. If we have another population of animals that isn't, that would help a lot. And I believe pretty soon we're going to get wildebeest or something like that. Uh, I'm not positive, but I think something along those lines. We've got to be careful that the zebra population doesn't get too low, so I'm going to put in another one just in case one of them dies off, because now we should have three here, and that way we're not in imminent jeopardy of that, that uh, causing us big problem. So we've got a lot of zebras here. I'm going to put another bush over here to kind of encourage them to wander, maybe cross that crocodile-infested water a bit. And uh, we got to place another elephant somewhere or somehow get another elephant. What happened to this watering hole? Why is it vacant? It shouldn't be vacant. I guess I think what happened is the zebras maybe merged with that group. So we need to establish another group here uh, and kind of get that set up. We're actually at and past our goal with zebras, but uh, we need... We're gonna need. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna put in another elephant. We're gonna have to use that uh, the gem we get from that to place another tree so that this population doesn't get crazy and um, doesn't eat all the food and then steal all the zebras' food. But we also need to place some more of these guys. This is probably not the greatest place to place them. I see right over here we've had a big drop in population, so I. Or we did, I guess. No, no, they're kind of re they're kind of recovering from that. So we're going back up. We can go over here, and where is the grass here? It's right over. Oh, it's right in this area. It's hard to see a lot of the time. So we can place three of these guys down. We're oh, we're stuck at forty. So that's no good. But uh, I think. You know what, let's just focus on placing vultures. If we can get a population established over here, they should have enough to feed on, I think. And that should help us out. Because uh, that's the only goal we have left to reach. And maybe we don't need to focus on growing the ecosystem further. I think we maybe just need to focus on getting more vultures in. And I think this area is fairly okay. This area also seems fairly okay. 
This one's kind of starting to grow again. We're getting more zebras back. I would like if there was another bush over there because they do seem to be overeating it, but uh, there's not a lot we can do about that. This one has a significantly higher number of bushes. Let's find, I don't know where our vultures went. I, they seem to have left. Oh no, they're still here. I just couldn't see them for a second. Let's put another one in. We're actually pretty close, we're five away. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to place all of them, but we can actually get started here for sure. I don't know what all is dead in the water, but um, we've got some carcasses there that the vultures can eat from too, which is a good thing. And a lot of spring hares, which, oh, and they, these guys are having more babies, which is really good. Our spring hare population I don't think is going to grow too much, so we'd probably be better off just focusing on the vultures because there is enough to sustain a larger population here. Oh no, why are these guys all coming over? I didn't want them to come over necessarily. Okay, let's place more over here then. Uh, they kind of... I don't know what defines the flocks in this game, but they seem to group up sometimes when you don't want them to. Yay! Also, we did unlock chapter 10, and we did get the wildebeest, so next time we're going to have another prey animal to deal with, and I think that may solve a lot of our problems. But we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today, because it's about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.